Hare Hare Krishna I wanted to talk with you about sorry I'm just looking at my volume I want to talk with you about what Krishna what Krishna says about reincarnation the thing with reincarnation is that basically and, and I think it's because what I've read from this book the king the the, the king the, the King of Knowledge book basically and it's on page 23 and I've read the whole of page 23 up until the last until, until I, uh, up until the last paragraph where it talks about reincarnation how if, you, if we're not in Krishna's, Krishna's conscious or any other God's conscious or any other Hinduism conscious if we're not in in the conscience conscious of Krishna, we'll be will be from death to we'll be in we'll be in birth and death. You know, we wouldn't exist, we would just we'll be just be birthed into somebody else's womb, like an animal or some sort. But the thing is with that, you know, if we look at around us, around the world, if 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 in actual in actual fact that we were once created from another another animal, or we were we were we were in the same place as we we were we were, in, we were we were in a different we were in a different body many years ago, like some years back, and people might be able to prove that. But the thing is, if that was a previous suffering, and that person gets a chance to be a human to an animal, or an animal or an animal back into a human being. The thing is that if, if for example, the, the 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 human being got got changed into a gorilla, got changed into a gorilla after its death, a gorilla or a monkey, you know, the thing is with that, you know, th there is a monkey actually some years back. There was a monk, a gorilla. I think it was a gorilla or a monkey that Robin Williams actually met face to face and the gorilla was was able to do sign language with its hands and communicate and with that you know if if a if a monkey can communicate by sign sign language i'm sure that monkey will will be able to communicate and say you know once upon a time i was a human being i, I was a, i was a snake i was this i was that i was you know you name it i was i was it i'm sure the monkey, the monkey or gorilla, would I think it was a gorilla actually, or the ape, or all the same thing anyway. But basically, if it was w once, it was in the body previously before its original life as a gorilla. I'm sure previously, it would. I'm sure it would have currently now communicated throughout its whole life, saying to to human beings, saying, "Once upon a time, I was, I was a human being," or. I was once this other animal. I'm sure if it were if if there wasn't a different body in the past, they would have communicated that with us now. And I've never heard of a animal communicating saying that you know I was once in another body or some sort, or I was in a previous previous life. And you get all these people saying you know I was once in another bo body, another body many years back, and people always use that slang as a joke or as a term and yeah I mean there has to be rock hard evidence of somebody saying that like I've said to you before of someone actually saying that and with reincarnation I'm sure a god I mean that could be hell in itself if you want to call it that but I'm sure I'm sure when if, if, if god created you know, a reincarnation of repeatedly going into different bodies. I'm sure, eventually, that that God that creates that will will get tired of it because I'm sure repeating the same cycle over and over again. You know, with, with human beings, when we're repeating things, when we're doing things at a repetitive motion, and the exact same thing over and over again, I'm sure human beings will get tired of it and get bored of it. Eventually, you know, it's not a case of it's not a case of it's not a case of 
if it's a case of when they will get tired so yeah that's really all I have to say in this video so take care now and and Hari Hari Krishna